Epidemiology is the study of the spread of pathogens. We determine this in the amount of disease that we encounter. If we look at this in the context of COVID-19, we have a new challenge in that many of the cases will be silent or not severe enough to warrant medical treatment. This also complicates the dynamics of the disease as you do not know who is spreading the pathogen. Looking at the disease progress curve, or CURVE, there are several factors that influence it. One of them is the R0, which is the basic reproduction number of an infection. The R0 is the expected number of cases directly generated by one case in a population where all of the individuals are susceptible to the infection. These values vary depending on how contagious a pathogen is and how many susceptible individuals are still in the population. The more non-susceptible, the lower the rate of spread. This is one of the reasons that we vaccinate people against certain pathogens. This list gives you the R0 of many common diseases. You can see that some, like measles, spreads very quickly, as does chickenpox. COVID-19 is not far behind. This indicates how easily the pathogen spreads. The challenge with COVID-19 is that right now, we do not have three very important numbers. These include the number of individuals who actually have contracted the disease, the number of individuals who have recovered, and the extent of resistance of those who have recovered. The other information that we need is how long is a person infectious, how susceptible is the average person, and how much contact inoculum is needed to be spread to cause someone to be sick. Getting back to the R0, this example shows the R0 of Ebola, where one individual will normally infect two, and the R0 of SARS, where one person will normally infect four. You can see how much more readily a R0 of four will spread. But what happens with social distancing is half of the population is not actively present, as we are now homeschooling or having online classes. Then the person will come in contact with half of the susceptible individuals and the spread of a disease with an R0 of 4 will now resemble an R0 of 2. On the other hand, if you have an enclosed population such as a nursing home where the population has increased susceptibility due to age, pre-existing conditions, and constant exposure to each other, then the spread may have a functional R0 that is much higher. The concept of flattening the curve deals with reducing the amount of disease that you deal with at any time that requires specialized health care. With COVID-19, the main concern is about ICUs and respirators. If you didn't have enough respirators, then patients would not get treated and could possibly perish. The idea is to reduce the incidence of disease to a level below the current health care capacity. This was done by reducing the number of exposures through social distancing. The other concept was, what is the effect of inadequate mitigation? Here, the social distancing guidelines would be relaxed before there was sufficient reduction in the level of disease. This would cause a drastic increase in the level of disease, the so-called second wave. The main concern is that COVID-19 is not going anywhere. Any pressure to reduce exposure will help mitigate disease. Reducing the mitigation will help a comeback of disease. The questions are, what am I willing to do to protect myself from COVID-19? What are the repercussions if I do not take these actions? Am I more concerned with myself than the people around me?